It's back to school time again, which can be a stress or anxiety inducing event for our kids. Today, we will address how we can make back to school transition go smoothly. I am Dr. Tanisha Burke, your positive parenting coach. Welcome to our channel where we discuss the latest research and best practices in parenting, child development and supporting the family. Before we begin, let's define anxiety. Anxiety refers to a broad and more complex emotional and physiological response to perceived threats or stressors. It involves a state of heightened arousal and often involves a combination of emotional, cognitive and physical symptoms. In children, anxiety can manifest as excessive worry, fear, or an unease about future events or situations. It can be classified in different types of anxiety disorders such as generalized anxiety, social anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, and many more. Children with anxiety may experience symptoms like restlessness, irritability, difficulty concentrating, muscle tension, and sleep disturbances. Anxiety is generally a more pervasive and persistent emotional state that can impact various aspects of your child's life. The back to school season can be both exciting and anxiety inducing for children, especially those prone to anxious thoughts and feelings. As a positive parenting coach, I understand the challenges that parents of anxious children face during this time. However, with careful planning, empathy and support, you can help your anxious child navigate the transition smoothly. Today, I will share valuable tips to make the back to school transition a positive and successful experience for both you and your child. My first suggestion is to encourage your child to share their fears. Before and during the first few weeks or days of school, make sure to set up a regular time and place so that your child can talk and express themselves without judgment. Some children feel most comfortable in a private space with your undivided attention, such as right before bedtime or during a meal. So you know your child Select the time that works best for them, that makes them comfortable to open up and speak to you about all the fears they have about starting the new school year. The next thing you need to do as a parent is to make sure you validate your child's feelings. Let your child know that it's normal to feel anxious about going back to school and that many, many kids feel the same way. Reassure them that you are there to support them and help them through their worries. Understanding their concern is a first step towards addressing them effectively. My next tip is to start early. Begin preparing for the upcoming school year well in advance. Gradually introduce routines and schedules a few weeks before school starts. This helps your child ease into the structure of the school day, minimizing sudden changes that can trigger anxiety. My fourth tip is to visit the school. Arrange a visit to the school before the academic year begins. Walk through the campus, locate classrooms if possible, restrooms and other facilities. Familiarity can significantly reduce anxiety for an anxious child. Meeting teachers and staff members in a casual setting can also establish a sense of comfort. Fifth tip is to plan together. Involve your child in the back to school preparation process. Let them pick out school supplies, choose their backpack and plan their outfits if they do not wear uniform. Empower them to take ownership of their school experience, boosting their confidence and easing their apprehensions. Sixth tip is to practice relaxation techniques. Teach your child simple relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, visualization or mindful exercises. These techniques can serve as valuable tools to manage anxiety during stressful moments at school. Next is to establish a consistent routine. Maintaining a predictable daily routine provides a sense of stability for anxious children. Ensure they have a consistent sleep schedule, balanced meals, and a designated time for homework, play, and relaxation. The eighth tip is to encourage positive self-talk. 
Help your child reframe negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Teach them to replace self-doubt with self-empowering statements. This practice builds resilience and equips them to handle challenging situations. Next is to role play scenarios. Role playing various school scenarios can help your child feel prepared and in control. Practice conversations with teachers, peers, or situations that might cause anxiety. This can reduce the fear of the unknown and build social confidence. Next is to stay connected with the school. Maintain an open line of communication with your child's teachers and the school staff. Inform them of your child's anxiety so they can provide appropriate support. Regular updates on your child's progress can help address any issues early on. And the final tip is to celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your child's achievements no matter how small. Each step towards adapting to the school environment is a victory. Positive reinforcement boosts their self-esteem and encourages them to keep trying. Back to school transition can be a positive journey for anxious children with the right strategies in place. As a positive parenting coach, I encourage you to approach this transition with empathy, patience and understanding. By implementing these tips, you can empower your child to conquer their anxiety and thrive in the school environment. Please remember, your unwavering support plays a vital role in your child's success. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more positive parenting content, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future episodes. And also, we would love to hear from you, so do leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining us and goodbye for now.